Hey guys, going on? Me and back with a brand new video, and today I'm doing my review on the LEGO Star Wars First Order Battle Pack. This is the First Order Battle Pack, as I said. This set retailed for back in the day when Battle Packs were only $15, or I believe £13. It was great, I miss those days. Now it's $20 or £18, which isn't that bad because of inflation or whatever, but this battle pack's still released back then anyway i got this when it released i only got one of them i w if i could get i would get another only one more because it's a cool set but don't want too many because first order is kind of bad anyway let's start off with the first order officer you get he uh has the same face as the new endor style scout trooper minifigure that you can get he's got cool he's got no leg printing no arm printing He's just got a blue torso with a belt and a few little folds and lines and stuff, which I think look quite cool. Obviously, you've got a really nice uh, cap thing. Not not jewel moulded, just printed on the black bit. And you've got the First Order logo. It looks quite cool. And you've got a tiny bit of black printing. Nothing too special, but yeah. Jewel moulded legs or printed legs wouldn't have been necessary, but maybe printed legs would have been a bit nice. But you don't need them in this kind of set. And he came with... A stud shooter, but with the tap piece of the back. I'm sure you all know what stud shooter is. Now, next up, we have two of these guys. We have the First Order Stormtrooper. There are two types of storm First Order Stormtroopers, only differentiated by the helmet. One of them's a bit more pointed, and then one of them's a bit more rounded, like flatter. This is a bit more flatter. I will grab a comparison and show you the difference now. Now, as you can see, we have the one that is slightly pointed there. And the one that is more flatter. This one here came in the battle pack. This one did not come in the battle pack. This one came in the Persona Speed Chase, I think. This one came in. And a few other sets, because I have like three of them. So it must have come in something else as well. Anyway, so we know the Persona Speed Chase had, didn't have a normal one. It had one with a little logo on it. So I don't know where that came from. Maybe the Praetorian Guard battle pack or something. But I'm not sure. But I have them from somewhere. Now here we've got the flatter one. I will go on to the detail. He has very good armour detail. I like the leg print, just the, not as good as the Imperial one, but it's still quite cool. We've got the belt waist bit, looks quite good. Quite like this. Got a little bit of back printing, looks quite nice. Definitely looks like a Stormtrooper. Anyway, we've got another one of them, exactly the same. Now, uh, they all come with normal stud shooters. They both come with normal stud shooters. Now, this boy, this is the... Flame Trooper. I really like the Flame Trooper. Oh, I forgot to mention, but we all have the Angry Clone face underneath because this was like 2019, I want to say. But yeah, you've got cool torso print. Very cool. Got I love the helmet mold and helmet print. Um, and then you've got little ammo belt there. Very cool leg printing and belt printing. And then you've got this uh, brick built backpack thing. But it's like the fuel canister cell things on that clear bit. I'll quickly show you the back print. The backpack has now been removed to show you the back print. I quite like the back print. I just think the backpack looks a bit cooler. But I have one without the backpack because I bought like a bulk thing of Lego Stars minifigures, like 20 of them for like 15 quid. And uh, I got Ezra, um, a few other bits. Can't, I got one of the OG Snowtrooper things. But he came along with it without the backpack. But. It doesn't really matter. Or with, and without weapon, but it's not the end of the world. Because don't really build Imperial mark, uh, First Order marks. I do build Imperial ones. Anyway, so without backpack, back printing looks okay. Now, the weapon he has is the long rifle, ooh, the bla long rifle blaster thing with a white cylinder on it, and then got flames out of it. Now, this is when it's in its on position. It's a bit weird if he's just walking around with it on its flame position. So I will show you without um, the flame out. Now, this is it without the flame coming out. This is it where if he wasn't flaming, but well, I think it doesn't look as good, to be honest, at all. But yeah, there's the flame. You stick it back on, but that's that. Anyway, so it also includes uh, two batons and two shields, which have little visor things, a little printing. These represent, uh, like, riot troopers. So you can get your two... Well, right here we are. Get your two First Order Stormtroopers and stick these on, which I will do now for you guys. So I have one of them stood up and one of them laid down just to show you. So if one stood up, I have it at an angle so it can stand up. Uh, and this one I'll show you. I like quite like the shield because you can use it to 
do shield stuff. And then the Baton design, you can see a little bit of trans blue there to represent, I guess, electricity, like a taser. You've got this black bit here. Quite quite like the Baton design. It looks very good. Make it, you make yourself a nice riot trooper. These things clip onto the speeder, which I will show you guys a bit later on. Now, the speeder, nothing special to it. Obviously, you've got stud shooters on each side. Got a nice trans red uh, cheese slope on each side, which I think looks very good. Got a little gap here, which I imagine is where the officer will come in to speed it, or whatever you do, speeders, drive it. We've got a little weird printed control panel. It's definitely not the ordinary printed control panel, but it still looks alright. Got these longer cheese slopes, grill piece thing, not sure what they're called. Got clips here, which are for the right shield fire baton, which I will show you later. Got these clips on the side, which I can do without having to cut. You can clip the stud shooter on. See, it wasn't too difficult. You can clip that on. There's another one on the other side. But yeah. Now, um, there's not much to this. It's got no uh, things underneath to help uh, glide a bit easier, which is unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. I mean, you've got this really cool thrust design. With a trans blue, then this weird. I think it goes for a wheel bit. With a lightsaber hilt here. Clipped on the side, I think it looks quite cool. And this is for a blaster, which I will do just now. So, what I'm going to do, and then click the right shield stuff here, and then the blaster here. I will do that right now. Alright, this thing definitely has a lot of weapons that you can clip on. You've got right shields on each side, and then these ready to go. You've got two stud shooters on the side for the Imperial Officer and Stormtrooper. And then you've got this in the middle, which is a little turret cannon. So I'm going to sit a Stormtrooper here and the Officer here. I, I will do that just now. Alright, so th that is done. Um, now, there is a weird space behind the Officer. And you could say that's for the um, Flame Trooper. But it's not because the, his backpack... I, his jet backpack thing's not on. But if you see, that's where it goes. It goes lower than the studs on his le back of his legs. So he can't sit. Right? So don't know what the point of that was, but... It's a cool little feature, I guess, but yeah. Now, you can you simply have his Stormtrooper sat in, have his arms the way they are, you just fold that up into his lap, and now he's got a little turret that you can shoot at the uh, resistance, chasing the speeder, right? And you've got a flame trooper behind him to do whatever. But yeah, um, there's not much else to this. The windscreens can move, like, yeah... It moves together. It's a very interesting build. Build. It's nothing special. It's a nice easy build. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace.